Are and you just into dressing up in general, or is it Hawaiian all the time for you? No, there's a few different things I'll wear. Like, uh, this is my collection of Hawaiian shirts I have here. What's your favorite one? I would say the one I have on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a suit that oh I wore God. for Halloween one year. I was I dressed up as a Day of the Dead character with the makeup on the face and everything. And my wife did the same thing. We actually won the contest. I usually win the contest every year or come oh. in second. How did the like Crave Nation like sweepstakes come about? Yeah, it was just a random drawing. I think they had like 150,000 entries and I won. I pulled my wife up from work and thought, I think I won a lifetime supply of White Castle hamburgers. This is part of the thing that they gave me back in, uh, when I won the uh, award that was presented to me at the Highland Boulevard location on Staten Island. And you can see what it says. Really citizen of the Craver Nation. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of this. And my wife has let me keep it on the wall since 2012. So it was, this was like a one and done. You're the only member of this. Yes. So when they gave you that, they also gave you the stack of the gift cards? Yes. So like how, how many was it? Like, can you? There was 125 of those in stacks of 25. That's so Each crazy. one was like this, all wrapped in plastic. $100 <laughs> on each one. Did, did your doctor say anything during this time? Or I bought them a case too. <laughs> to pay them off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd like to go to White Castle with you. I mean, for me, this is gonna be my first time. Um, You've never had a White Castle? Do you find yourself always more leaning towards White Castle? Yes. I have McDonald's across the street, it's always White Castle. <laughs> no question. <laughs> no question. It's just the allure of White Castle. Come on, they made a movie about the place. Yeah, true. <laughs> Harold and Kumar didn't go to McDonald's, did they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Do you ever get nostalgic while eating them? <laughs> I always remember the first time I had it with well, my mom and dad and the family in the station wagon pulling in. So what do you think? How do you like it? Did you try it yet? I haven't ate it yet, but I'll, I'll take a bite right now. Mm. I didn't know there were pickles. I love pickles, my God. It's actually 100% beef. They'll lay the onions out on the grill, take the patty, put it over the onions, then put the bun on top of it and let it steam there. They don't even flip the meat over, they just let the whole meat steam in there. And then, it, like, what, what else is on it? It's just meat and onion, or is it? Meat, onions, ketchup, and pickles. I'm in a league called the Mediocre Bowling Association, and we get together once a month for like five or six events a year, and we just have a good time bowling. It's a good group of people. Attention! Who would like a delicious White Castle hamburger? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, grab it out, Jack. I know you're a big fan. You've given away quite a bit of the cards, huh? Oh, I gave away a lot to family, friends. I was gonna say, family seems to be really important to you. It's always good to take care of your friends and everybody. And that's what family's all about. 100%. Are you excited to come to the award show? I'm invited to it.